Hello. Today's devotional can be found in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 15. He hath filled me with bitterness. He hath made me drunken with wormwood. All right, so here's the thing. Satan is a very bitter person. He has been a bitter person since he was dismissed post the war in heaven. Because he chose to rebel against Jesus Christ. He chose to lead an army up against God and Jesus Christ. And he lost the war. And was thereby dismissed with the third group of the host of heaven. And this can be read about in the scriptures. So I'm not going to go into it. But Satan is bitter. He's a very bitter person because he knows what he did was wrong. He's fully aware of it, but he can't take it back. He he knows he can't take it back, and that's making him bitter and making him feel like he's unloved. But here's the thing. When you know about all that God has to offer and you've accepted it once, but you reject it and rebel against it, there's not much God can do for you but let you go to your own decisions, and that's exactly what God did. God loves Lucifer, but he doesn't love the person that Lucifer has become, Satan. It killed him to let Lucifer go, but everyone has the right to their own decisions, and he had to let Lucifer go. And we have that same choice that we, who came to earth in bodies, have that very same choice as to whether or not we want to make the most of our mortality or allow, lose, or allow Satan's bitterness to get to us and drive us to doing irresponsible things and being terrible in our behaviors and allowing Satan to inflict us with his bitterness so we make stupid decisions. Satan's tactic is to fill us with bitterness over petty things and allow it to escalate within us so that we end up doing something stupid over something petty. He wants us to emulate him so he influences us and magnifies our problems and tries to make us see that things are worse than they really are so that we will react in our natural carnal way instead of settling down and thinking about it and following the spirit. You see, Satan brought himself to a point of spiritual and eternal exile, and he wants to bring us to that point because he believes that if he destroys children of God, he'll destroy God. But that is not so, even as children of God fall away. God will be God forever, and Christ will be Christ forever, and these Two will not change. We may change in how close or far away we are from them, but our heavenly examples will not change. They will help us to become evolved because we are children of God, so we have the potential to become gods and goddesses. We won't ever become God himself because nobody can be better than God, but we have the potential to be great. If we just let go of bitterness and all negative emotions that can block us from feeling the Spirit of God and being taught how to become better people because of it. Life is so very short that we don't need to waste time on bitterness. Things happen that we can't control, but we can control how we respond and how we react and how we go about our lives beyond that point. Or we can just quit and give up. I mean, it's up to us, but there's no point in quitting. There's no point in giving up. Life will go on whether or not we sit on our butts trapped in bitterness. So why not just keep going? God and Christ will enable us to keep going past our bitterness and help us grow through the atonement that we might be able to reach our divine potential if we so choose. And Satan cannot break our free will. We have to give it to him. 
He only is able to fill us with bitterness if we let him affect us. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.